There's so much to discover in the 1921 census of England and Wales. In our last episode, we looked at the haves and have-nots in 1921 society. This episode, we're turning our attention to the women of 1921. Women up and down the country were becoming more independent than ever before. The census features some of the first female police officers, solicitors and racing car drivers. Family dynamics were changing and many were still fighting for women's voting rights. Was your grandmother blazing a trail in a man's world? Or was she a family matriarch, struggling to put food on the table? Perhaps she was both. In 1921, women were of course much more restricted than they are today. So when we look back on the history of women and the story of our female ancestors, we really need to think about the rights that they had versus what we have and not make assumptions. So we've got the impact of things like the Education Act, the Representation of the People's Act, um, the Sex Disqualifications Removals Act. So women are starting to move into professional roles, but at the same time, we're seeing a kickback from men who are returning from war who want their old jobs back and find women doing their work. We see this even within the census. We see people protesting that female enumerators have been sent to the house at a time of, of significant unemployment. It was a strange consideration that if divorce was listed on the census, then maybe everyone would suddenly want to have one. Although there were only around about 16,000 divorces recorded on the census itself. After this long history of discrimination and yet the last two decades where women have kind of risen up and had a much more powerful voice in the local and political communities, this ability to actually accurately record your household must have been quite a moment for a lot of individuals across the country. There is a, an upsurge in interest in what work women are doing and how it's demonstrated in the 1921 census. But we also see an awful lot of women who, whose work is, is listed as either unpaid domestic duties or housework or housewife. And I think that massively underplays the role that a mother or a woman potentially plays in a household. So there are a number of census returns that indicate that a woman was the housewife, where she should be, as it was written in the census. But there's also a number of examples where People indicate their partnership in a new way. And there are household returns that actually indicate and say, they've written out, we are partners in equal terms. We are both the head of household. We also see uh, less traditional households, so we, members of the gay community and things like that, that previously were a little more hidden and harder to spot in census records, but they become a, li a little clearer uh, with a few notes of uh, people living with their companions. And even we've seen numbers of uh, women listing themselves as being living with their wife or other kinds of elements that show that uh, there's some more uh, openness about some of these non-traditional households. You have this kind of combination of social changes that's really making the perspective of women in work a very different arena than we've ever seen before. There are a number of examples in the census of kind of these pioneer women that we can look to as really breaking some of these barriers for ourselves. There are writers and authors and even athletic and sports figures listed in the 1921 census that give us a view of this kind of changing and shifting culture. But then there are also a number of pioneers that aren't so notable and famous. There are people who decided just to do things themselves and do things better. And that is one of those things that doesn't really get called out as much, but is probably more important about celebrating. Your grandmother, your great grandmother, your mother might have decided that she wasn't going to be told what to do anymore. And she would go and get a job and she would work for herself and win that newfound independence. We're just starting to see these women make their presence felt in society. And now here we are. If you look at the entrance to, to veterinary college, to medical schools, that there's a, a fairly decent number of women going through. So it, it's really positive to see how much opportunity has changed in those terms. Don't wait to find out how your family's past could change your future. The 1921 Census, only online at findmypast.com.